Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. Today's topic kind of be controversial, but I am half Asian, half white. I'm gonna go talk about it. This is lovely high school lady went to the prom wearing a Chinese, um, basically it could be Chinese or it could be Vietnamese type blouse tied. They have the same type of floral and scalvigan silk dresses um, for it. I looked at it. It was perfectly fine in my point of view. I have boxes full of them due to the fact that I was an APIC, Asian Pacific Islander Culture um, um, Club back in high school. So I go to uh, San Francisco, uh, Chinatown, and buy bulk of these clothes uh, out of my own money because I used to work in high school. And basically, you do a fashion show, culture awareness, stuff like that. We don't care to the truth, about 99.9% .9 of the Asian cultures do not give two shits of what if you wear their type of cultural appropriate dresses or whatever as well. Um, even my stepmom, and I call her mom, is Chinese. My mother is Korean and, you know, um, biological mom is Korean. But, you know, other than that, it's, it's one of those things that's like, who gives two shit what you wear? If you like it, you look pretty on it, go for it. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, goes around and think that, uh, oh, I'm entitled, you're, you're offending my culture. Well, you go F yourself. Uh, if you think about that as well, why don't you just unplug the internet and, uh, and turn off your, um, dis disconnect your phone and just live in the uh, wilderness in the forest so that no one can offend you. And that w I would actually uh, uh, basically want you to do that. Basically, I don't want to want to look at her or hear about it as well. I think she, I don't, don't know her name, but what the guy's name that fucking did all this shit. Uh, I think it's very stupid in my point of view. It's like I wear a Japanese high school uh, uh, outfit that makes me look like kind of a sometimes literally makes me look like a freaking priest, and I'm gonna wear that for the. Church of Lyles episode, you know, who cares, you know, is it for a prop, if it's for a special occasion to make it look pretty, go for it, you know, this is, you know, there's cosplays all around the world now that we wear different types of anime, video game characters, you know, no one's even going to jump around and say, oh my god, you offend my, no, no, it's not, we don't care. There's only that very few small percentage of people that will basically get butthurt about it. I, I tell her if she watches this, go for it. Don't don't tell people what you know what you what they think stuff like that. You're not offending anyone. It's a piece of clothing. You know you get mad over a piece of clothing. It's like, you know I want to get my wife uh, Ashley. Uh, she's white. She's Caucasian. You know. Um, a kimono in Japan, really bad. I will not. I will not hesitate to spend two grand on a nice kimono for her. The reason why we couldn't get it because I didn't have enough money. But I'm, you know, back if you go back to Japan, I am actually gonna buy her that kimono. Very nice, grabbing kimono, uh, just to you know, look, make her look very pretty and sexy, especially in bed. Give her some fox ears and the fox tail, and there you go. A nice little hot love in bed with beers and booze and whiskey and tequila and vodka. Mm, sounds like a great bad night, especially the next day when you throw it all out. I'm learning that. I don't. I, I don't understand why people. Because I made a video about social justice warrior and I lost about four to six subs. You know, it has to be so politically correct about everything. You know. You know, it's like, you know, I don't really care if you call me a rice cracker, cracker boy, rice boy, whatever kind of situational slang. It doesn't get to me because I don't give two fucks about it. You know, my email, most of my emails are called rice cracker. Most of my accounts called rice cracker because I embrace the damn thing. I think it's fucking hilarious. You know, first for younger kids, you know, especially a lot of younger viewers, I don't even know I curse, I'm sorry. Um, you know, Follow your dreams, you know. As long as you're not hurting anyone, physically, it's fine. Mentally, that's a different story because you can go to a whole bunch of different aspects of it. I don't want to get into for that as well, but you know, 
it, it, it is it, it is just funny how having the internet, having people so emotionally distressed over something very minute and stupid. And you know, just watching a lot of these Facebook feed, Twitter feed, I'm like, oh my god. What has this world come to? Have you grown have you get have you have a lot of kids? Especially people that are a little bit younger or a little bit older than me now, became a bunch of pussies. Over a piece of clothing, uh, Asian cultural awareness. I bet I have more Asian culture from a lot of uh, a lot of Asian Americans in here. Reason why is that I am the first uh, born American from my mom's side in America, and I've been beaten with the Asian culture. The bamboo stick, fly swatter, frying pan, an iron, and a shitload more other stuff as well. Um, I can speak the language fluently, have a hard time reading and writing because I didn't really care about reading and writing. Um, I care. I I I I actually want to learn more Japanese, especially reading and writing. I heard people call me weeaboo in my comment. You know what the fuck a weeaboo is? A weeaboo is basically denounce my culture and want to be Japanese and basically offending other Japanese people. I actually have a lot of culture in my bloodstream. I actually have Japanese, Chinese, Korean, a shit little whites in my, in my bloodstream, right now, in my heritage right now. And I don't really care. That doesn't make me a weeaboo. You know, you got to understand as well. Back then, China and Korea, China, uh, Korea was part of China. And, and also, in, and also, People that he was exiled were in Japan. Learn your fucking histories, literally. Learn your goddamn history. You know, it it it's it, it just mind boggling how how people are very arrogant as well as like. You know, if I like anime, I'm an anime fan. You know, doesn't mean I'm gonna denounce like. Wearing a fucking Sailor Moon outfit and going out to Japan is like, oh, I announce myself as Japanese. That's not what Japanese culture is all about. Japanese is more culture is more in depth than you actually think about it. And also, I know, you know, I, I really, you know, I really want to have be more. I care more about the Asian culture than the Western uh, culture. I like to more explore about Asia than Europe. Uh, that's just me because I like the artwork, the architecture a lot more than the medieval stuff that they have because I'm so been beaten by by my dad that you know medieval long swords, claymore, they're cool. I play Dungeons and Dragons and mostly medieval settings. You know, it's like I like the ancient culture as well, the the lore of it as well because a lot of European cultures, the lore and the gods are very similar and the same. If you research it, took a one-on-one -on -one religion class, take art history class, uh, take philosophy, sociology classes in college, then you figure out like why are all these very similar and very the same? Because back then, Roman was on power, start taking over countries and implementing their culture with their culture, and so on and so forth, you know. History is one thing you guys, everyone should learn about, but not too much in depth. Learn your own damn history in America. A lot of people that live in America don't know their goddamn history, and I feel very sad for them for very freaking reason as well. Well, anyhow, guys, enough of my rant about this stupid cultural awareness shit. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, please subscribe, notify. If you guys put a freaking thumbs down button, let me know why. You know, it doesn't make any sense to put a thumbs down. Like, I, you, you hurt my feeling. Well, how did I hurt your feeling, little buttercup? Tell me about that. Well, anyhow, guys, have a great day.